Yo guys, Spider here, and in Black Ops 2 Zombies, they introduced the Double Tap 2.0. We're going to go through it right here. And uh, I'm just firing off the AK-47U without Double Tap, just to give you an idea of the fire rate. And uh, I did make a note of that somewhere here. Where the hell are my notes? Alright, here are my notes. So without Double Tap, it's approximately 710 rounds per minute with the AK-74U. I'm just showing you some single fire shots. So this is Double Tap 2.0. Remember, Double Tap 2. And uh, with Double Tap 2, and I'm just firing off some single shots, there's a huge difference between uh, Double Tap from uh, Black Ops and Double Tap 2 in Black Ops 2. So the increased fire rate, um, if I look at it, is uh, approximately from 710, we go from 710 rounds per minute to approximately 830 rounds per minute. All right, so it's not like a it's not like a double increase. You're not you're not firing an entire clip twice as fast, and you can time it yourself. Uh, there's no way it's not even close to being twice as fast, but it is definitely faster. Obviously, we're we're firing 120 more rounds per minute with double tap. You know what the biggest change is here, and I'm going through round seven. It's the fact that you actually fire two bullets at once. All right, and and it doesn't deplete your ammo two bullets at a time, okay? Because you can still single fire the AK-74U, and your ammo count will go, let's say you start at 20, it will go down to 19, but you're still actually firing two bullets. It's like, it's like having stopping power, and it's super effective. I mean, look how easily I'm taking out those guys round seven. Now, I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to go back to Kino, and I'm going to get double tap again. The AK-74U, same gun. I'm just going to fire it off here. Uh, 20 rounds. It's pretty much identical. I, I will say that the fire rate is actually slightly higher with double tap in Black Ops. That that fire rate right there. If you time that, the fire rate here in in Black Ops is slightly better than in Black Ops 2. But you don't have the advantage of the two bullets or the two bullets at once or the stopping power or whatever you want to call it. I mean, let's call it stopping power, okay? The fact that you fire two bullets at once, but it still doesn't deplete your ammo. And watch how much longer it takes. We're on the same exact same round. Round seven, it actually takes a fair bit longer to take these guys out uh, than it does in Black Ops 2. I mean, Black Ops 2, I could use the ADS auto-aim and I'm taking these guys out in a couple bullets. Um, I'm, in, I'm at least firing, you know, maybe not there, but, uh, you know, to, to the chest. To the head, it's, it's a little bit of a different story, and it, and it may look like it's taking approximately the same time. But definitely in Black Ops 2, it's taking less time to take these guys out with double tap than it is in Black Ops. So just wanted to, uh, to give you that uh, little comparison there. The other thing I'll say is that uh, it looks like it, it, it impacts every single gun. Uh, whereas in Black Ops, Double Tap only only impacted your automatic weapons. I mean, your automatic weapons obviously are going to see that increased rate of fire. I mean, semi-auto, it's just as fast as you can pull the trigger, right? So there was no benefit to semi-auto weapons in Black Ops for getting Double Tap. There, you know, there's no increased fire rate because it's all you. Whereas in Black Ops 2, we definitely see an improvement across all weapons, not just automatic weapons. Uh, where, you know, we're just taking these guys out, whether we're using the M1911 or we're using the M1216, it's, uh, it's pretty effective. Anyways, Double Tap 2.0, guys, it's like Double Tap on steroids. I'm spidering them out.